As Project Zero Dawn took shape, it was quickly evident that introducing the first pioneer organisms into this reborn world would be essential to initial terraforming goals. Not only creatures that still inhabited the world of the 2060s, but those who were unfortunate enough to find themselves extinct before the end of days. According to the data point Artemis status, it's estimated that between the year 2000 and 2043, more than 14,000 individual species went extinct, a tragic situation only made slightly more bearable due to the tireless work of conservationists that were able to collect and preserve their genetic material in hopes of one day bringing them back, many of which are assumed to be part of Gaia's subfunction Artemis and are yet to be reintroduced. However, the fall of some species may have not been so devastating to those living at the time, and in fact, may have been intentional. In the data point, Mourn Mosquitoes, we get a rather interesting glimpse into the public's attitude toward the issue at the time. Kasabian. Won't someone think of the mosquitoes? Ryan Kasabian, only guy on the planet upset about mosquitoes being driven to extinction. March 18th, 2060. Blood Moon Star and Human Attention Vacuum Ryan Kasabian is very disappointed in you, world. How dare you celebrate the deaths of billions of innocent mosquitoes like that? Ashamed yet? Well? The 32-year-old actor spleen-vented while accepting the less-than-coveted award for Baddest Vampire Hero at the Edgescape Choice Awards. Yeah, we forgot that was a thing too. An entire species exterminated in the blink of an eye, Kasabian pouted. If we are the planetary stewards we claim to be since the clawback, we are doing a lousy job of it. The lousy job Kasabian is referring to there? The eradication of mosquito-borne diseases, both old standards like malaria, Zika, West Nile, encephalitis, and new die-off era emergent viruses like Jornu and Tripura. Yeah, world, lousy job of getting rid of those bugs and the plagues they carried. Good thing we've got the guy from that lunar mining base overrun by sexy vampires hollow to remind us of our crimes against mosquitoes. Hmm, there's a bloodsucker pun in there somewhere. With mosquitoes gone from the face of the Earth, one has to wonder, would Zero Dawn bother to bring them back? We know little when it comes to the specifics of which pioneer life forms would have been reintroduced into the 31st century, and would mosquitoes make the cut purely to create the most accurate recreation of the Earth's fauna? Or do they play a larger role in establishing an accurate food chain for those animals that consumed them before they fell to extinction? An interesting line of questioning that leaves us wondering how selectively curated is the world Gaia created, and which life forms from the past were deemed worthy to occupy the planet? once again. And that brings this chronicle to a close. If you'd like to see more content like this, likes and shares are always appreciated. And if you really like what we're doing here, consider hitting that subscribe button. It really helps the channel out. Only 20% of our viewers are actually subscribed to the channel, and the more we grow, the more Horizon content we can produce. And as always, thanks for watching, and keep questing.